Hi, everybody. You just ain't gonna believe this. Yes, you will, because you know how I am. But anyway, I started this here video in the other room, what we call Room B, my studio, me and Arya's studio, and um, using my phone. But then my phone went for like 20 minutes and then it quit and said, I don't have no storage space. It said, clean up your act and try again. Well, I don't know how to clear up storage space. So I have to wait till my child gets home and then maybe he can tell me how to clear up storage space on my telephone. I can't clear up my own space around here. So how do you think electronically people think that I could? So I turned on this here camera and, and then I noticed that my hair, well, I think my hair looks just fine, doesn't it? This is my real, real hair. This is my real hair. Nothing fake about that. And look, I found some lipstick so I could look professional. Check out these fingernails. All 10 of them. They're real too. No, if, if these were not real nails, you wouldn't be able to see them. They would be not there. They're real plastic. Glued on. So anyhow, don't let anybody tell you they're not real nails. Okay, now I started, okay, let me put my stuff down here that I was using in the other room and then I had, good thing I have this little cart because I was able to just pile things up on this cart that I was using. And so I just piled it back up our, here it is. Now I'll put it down here and we'll start all over again. Oh, I had that, oh, and then I need this glue. And then I, you know who that is? That's me and my daughter, Tommy Sue, and my daughter, Jennifer. They kind of, that picture kind of has to go with me all the time. Look at that smile on that girl. Don't you think she probably has made the most beautiful angel in heaven? Yes, she does. Yes, she did. Diz, does, does. Those are my scissors. Okay, now, now let's get down here. Now. had a hair I had a real hair in my mouth okay now oh my shirt today says it says it's fine just a minute let me show. it's me it's fine I'm fine everything is fine there you go there you go with that shirt okay now let's get back to what we were doing now what was I doing okay where's my stuff Oh, here it is. Now, like I said, I was starting in the other room and then my, oh well, I won't complain. But this is what I was doing. Laurel's little journal that she made and, and sent it to me. Then I have had requests to show how it's made. Laurel, do you do channel? Do you, Laurel, if you're watching, do you do? Do you do videos? Maybe you've already shown this. I gotta, I gotta check on that girl and see. So I, when I was starting in there, I had uh, my envelope and I folded it in half and I covered the front, I covered the back, and I covered the inside of the back cover. But I didn't cover this yet because this I wanna cover a little bit differently. So, so I'm going to, I don't have any book pages because I threw them away a long time ago. So I want to, I want to see if there's, I want to see if there's, um, just a little writing. I want writing. Oh, here's a bunch of writing. Ooh, yummers, yummers, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to, I want to use this writing. Now, I really didn't want to use this um, kind of paper, which is shiny. I wonder if I can 
if anybody would notice, this here is better paper. If I take a, if I, I'm gonna take a page out of this. All I need is one page. See, I just made a mystery out of that book. Now a mystery, it's always a mystery of what was on that page. But I don't like this paper because it's slick and shiny. And I don't want to do that. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this so I just get the... And I know there won't be any bad words in it because it comes from chicken soup from the soul. I've got like about 10 of the different chicken soup storybooks. In fact, this one right here, I think I've got two of Okay, so now, because all I want on here, because and the reason why is because, see, that is what Laurel put on hers. She and monkey see, monkey do. And so now what I'll do is I'm just going to I am going to I'm putting the um, ruler uh, right up against that window and then tear that see because there's the window then and then I can take put it against the bottom let's put it upside down against the bottom right up against that window wait a minute I'm doing this all crazy how come I'm not doing this correctly? Okay, this way. Okay, yeah, this will work. So I'll go and just measure it right there, putting the paper against the under of that window, and then I'll tear that. There we go. Now I need just a little bit of paper on the side here like about yay much and I will tear that right there okay I should have enough paper now there we go I think we've got it going now okay now have you ever seen such a good person I'm not a good person but a good tutorial this is not a tutorial at all and I'm putting the glue on there and then I'm going to put this here piece of paper that fits right there and it looks like I didn't get it very straight but you know what it's okay now I'm going to take and put glue on here on the bottom below the window below the window put it on upside down just because I won't play just because I won't play that's why and um, then I'm going to glue here along this edge and then I'm going to put this piece right here right cherry on right there and then I think what I want to do here now Okay, I'm going to have to do some trimming. Now, see, I can see that, that, um, going into this pocket up here, I'll be able to see through the window. Okay, so we're good with that. So far, we're doing good. And, but I am not going to, I don't want this part this part's not going to have a pocket so that's why I'm just gluing inside right there and then just kind of do that because it's not going to have a pocket it could though it could you could let a pocket be there if you wanted to like this okay now now you can see I'm going to have to do some trimming up here 
because I have got little crookedness going on. There was a crooked man who had walked a crooked mile. I don't remember how that was. Okay, found a crooked sixpence. Okay. That's pretty not straight, isn't it? Okay, now we want the pages in there. Now we need pages. So, and I cut these before my phone started mistreating me. And so, these are going to be my pages. But how big do I want them? One, two... Oh, I gotta make this. I'm just tearing this now because I want these pages. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put these pages together, together again. Okay, we'll put the pages together, and of course they're too big, so now I'm just going to do like this way. Now, I'm going to see how long I need these. I need these to be, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. I want... This is what I'm going to do. I want, okay, we're going to do it to make it look like a waterfall. So I'm going to put this one, okay, so you can see right here on this side of my ruler, I'm going to te tear this. Now I'm going to tear the next page with just a little bit longer, and the next page just a little bit longer, the next page, just a little bit longer, and the next page, just a little bit longer. Oh, I was only gonna do four of them. Well, I now I've done more than four. And all the rest of them are gonna be that long. So now, you can see the pages, how they're all different lengths here on the front. So, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh oh, I hear the dog barking. I wonder if that's my children's back home. Now I'm going to put this where it's folded, these papers are folded, and this is folded. I'm going to put them together like this. And I'm going to use a paper clip. paper clips are all magnetized together or something together. Oh, there's one. I'm going to put these paper clips right here. And I'm going to there. Now I'm going to put okay, these paper clips are just going to hold those pages in place and see how they fold right there along the fold line. Now I'm going to take a pin, a needle, kind of a fat needle. That's a weapon right there. And I'm going to put a hole in the middle and I'm going to put three holes, one below it and one above it. See, they just poked right on through there. Okay, I gotta, I gotta mute this because I gotta run out for a minute. You are gonna be muted and not. Huh, and I've returned and I bet you didn't even know I was missing. Okay, now I have this string on my needle. So now I'm gonna poke it in through the center hole and then bring it back through the bottom hole. And then back up through the center hole. Go 
from front to back and then back. Now I just have to go to the top hole. So that was the top, center, bottom. So I went into the center hole so the string is on the inside of the book and then I went down and then went back to the inside of the book through the bottom hole and then back out side of the book through the center hole and then back inside the book with the top hole. So now I have the string where now it's ready to be tied and I'm going to tie it right in the middle. Tie it in a knot. And so now I have those two strings hanging like that and I can take my paper clips off and now my pages are there ready so now my book, the book is actually now complete and um, Miss Lauren, she had a punch so she could punch a little half hole up here for a thumb hole and I don't have a punch right now. I do have one but not here so I'm going to just put a little I just cut a little notch there on the inside so you'll be able to pull the, the top, pull that um, paper thing out of there. And so now I'm going to, oh, I'm going to pull my, my cart. I love having different carts for different projects. Okay, so now, because on my cart now, this cart that I have right here is all, well, this magazine don't really belong on there. This is all stamps and inks, stamps and inks and stuff for paper. So I keep that all on. So if I'm not working on this stuff, I shove that cart away and I can bring back one of my carts that is for something else. And so what I want to do now is I want to put little edgings here and so here is where um, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use washi tape that's what this is washi tape. and I'm going to washi tape oh before I do that oh before I washi tape the whole shooting match I'm going to put that washi tape over there on that stack and I'm going to get my, this is an inking brush, wipe the dust off, I haven't used it in a month of Sundays and I'm going to take a, take a, okay, I'll take this distress, distress ox, side walnut stain. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go around the edge and that kind of ages the edge and it just kind of gives it that finished look. Finished. Did I ever tell you I'm half finished? Yeah, my father, he was Finnish, and my mother was not, so I'm half finished. <clears throat> and a quarter Polak, Polishian, Polak, Polak, Polish, Polish, yeah. So I'm quarter polished, half finished, and um, the other quarter is Norwegian. 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 That's what I am. That's what I am, yes. But I am half finished. I don't think I'll ever be completely finished. 
so I claim the finish in me mostly. Okay, so I think I've, I, I don't want any of that white to look white, but I think it's coming along okay. Now I think what I want to do on this edge here, let me see, where's, where'd I put Laurel's book? Here it is. Okay, no, she didn't put a binding on there, but I'm going to put a binding only because it looks kind of goofy. Mine does. Mine does just look goofy. It just looks goofy, so I'm going to throw I got some more of this. Yes, 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 yes. So now, what if I just put a binding on the end edge? Yeah, I like that. I need to cut it just a smidge. I need to cut just a smidge. And so that's why I'm going to put a binding. So what you do, you just do your own. You just do your own decorating however you want it decorated. And usually always when I come up with a somebody else's pattern, I always do my own thing, just do my own thing. And so that's what I do. And so there, so then that's kind of a binding on there, like on the spine. How come it's not straight? Maybe I cut too much off, I don't know. But it's okay, it's all okay. Everything is okay. Every I was going to use, I'm not right in the mind. Okay, let's see. Now, we'll get going here in a minute. Oh, yeah, see? When I put that on there, how cool does that look right there? Hi, Kaya, my girlfriend. What you doing, Kaya, my girlfriend? Oh, wait, wait, I'm going. Oh, you going? Oh, you going? Oh, no, this is, Mina's using this brush. You sure are beautiful. Oh, you are beautiful. Yeah. Here, you can feel this one. What is this brush? It's a brush. Brush your hair. There you go. That's a nice brush. Okay, so now I want some more. Oh, now like these. Now, see some things that I got from from my Happy Mail the other day, I can put as my decorations. Let's see, what do I want? Oh, look at my butterfly. Remember I started doing that on a video yesterday or the day before? I think I've got her finished up. And I think I'm gonna put her on I'll show you in a minute. Never mind. But now I'm going to, let's see, what should I do here? I've got beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now I want these beauty queens here. I think, I think what I want to do here is I'm going to cut this. right like that. And I think I'm going to put this like this and this like this. Did she leave with my brush? Oh no, she put it back up on the thing. I would have found it. A lot of my stuff just disappears sometimes and I usually find it somewhere, wherever Kaya puts it. Yeah, I'm not a very good grandmother. I just let them kids do whatever they want. Well, not really, whatever they want, but sort of. And then I'm going to take this one. Oh, darn it. Dropped it in the floor. Dropped it in the floor. Just a minute, i got to get my grabber. i got to get my grabber. No, 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 no. I don't land on the blue spot. Got it with my grabber. Everyone needs a grabber. 
Now, do I want to put, I think I want to put that diagonally. So there, that's the front cover. That's what I'm calling the front cover. Now, I want to make a tag that's going to go inside here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that out of one of these here pieces of paper. Aren't these some really good looking papers? I'm going to use this one that's kind of blue. And so I'm going to cut it, I'm going to tear it to the size that I need. So it's going to slide in here, so I want it to be just a smidge smaller. A smidge smaller. So I'm just going to use my ruler to put my ruler right here. And then I'm going to... See what I could do? is I could put this in here like this. Oh, I think I will. See, here I go with changing the rules. I'm putting that in there. See how then that shows through that window? But then I'm gonna cut this piece up here, that piece that I folded over, I'm just going to cut that a little bit, so there's only just a little tad that'll go over to the other side. So I'm going to put that in there, because that's going to be in there permanently. And then see how that shows that much at the front. So there I go again with my glue stick. and. Of course, you can use any kind of glue that you fancy. Whatever kind of glue you fancy is what you'll use. We just ate my um, my daughter-in-law and my son and the kids went over to the other grandma's house and they had dinner over there because, you know, Bianca, my daughter-in-law, she lost her brother in 08 to cancer. He was just about to turn 18. And, um, no, not 08, 18, 2018. It's just been a few years ago. And so today would have been his 24th birthday, I think. And so they actually, they had a little celebration for Tim, her brother over there today. They had some friends and family over. Me and Papa were invited, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't want to go. And so they brought us home food. And, um, but you know, I think that's nice to never let those memories die. Never let the memories die. And um, so that was nice. And we, when my daughter died, she died on the 8th of October, uh, December, 8th of December of last year. And then her birthday was on the 15th, she, where she would have turned 50 years old. And so we baked her a birthday cake and we had her birthday celebration even though she was in heaven. And I want to do that every year. I don't want her forgotten. I don't want to forget her, and I don't want her forgotten. And I don't want to, I don't want to lose myself, if that makes any sense. I don't want to lose myself just because she's not here. No, I put that on that edge, true. So there, now that's my pocket. Yes, my daughter was my life, I'm telling you. I don't know how, you know, I, I want to, you know, some people say that you get over it. I don't want to get over it. 
I don't want to stop missing her. I don't want to stop loving her. I, no, I don't want to get over it. So I've had a couple people tell me I just need to get over it, but I don't want to get over it. I'll just drink this here ginger ale. You know, down here in Florida, I don't know if they do that anywhere else, but in Florida, it's just, I don't understand it, and maybe it is just because I don't understand it, but people put, like, markers up on the side of the road where loved ones maybe got in a car wreck and didn't survive, and they put up, like, a cross and stuff where they passed away, and, um, well, my daughter didn't pass away on the side of the road, and I certainly am not going to go put, she passed away down at a park here. I certainly am not going to go and put something at the park where she passed away. But you know what I thought about doing is to make a little bitty, like a little bitty cross or a little bitty some kind of a memory thing. I don't know if I ever will, but this is what I think about. And put it, like, go to the hospital where she was born, where she was born, and stuff that little thing, just have her name on it or something, and just put, and but then stuff it, like, in a little garden or something that's there already at the hospital, just stuff it there as a little memory where she was born because that's where I was so but that she was born she was born and I had 50 years with her okay now we're going off I love to talk about her okay see now I put those little um, little sticker that, right on the edge of that page minions minions that's what those are and then I'll take this piece now a different piece and I'm going to go right on the edge of that second page. Put that right on there. This is a different kind. That one tore real easy. Okay, so see there? Now you can see the edge. Okay, and now let me get another one. Oh, look, I like this. This is, oh, this is the kind that's got a, it's a different kind. Oh, I don't know if I can get that open. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. If I can't, then I can't. And, um, if I can't, I can't, and then I'm like, oh, wait, I think, I think I got that. So then I just need, I want this back here so. Oh no, I want it pointing up. I don't want him pointing down. I want you to point your fingers up, sir. Okay, this is the kind that's got the paper on the back. So now if I can get the paper off of the back with these real fingernails. These real fingernails, real hair, the whole thing. Everything's real. Real. Yes? Somebody knocking? Oh, did that baby shut that door? My dog. My, um, Kaya will lock that door and then shut it. So nobody can get in. She locks the door. There, so now that's on that edge. I need to get some bright. Something bright. Okay, here. This is bright. I guess that was nobody knocking. I don't usually shut that door, but Kaya went through and she shuts doors. She just learned how to open and shut doors. So the sad thing is a lot of times she walks them before she shuts them. And then we gotta figure out how to get in the room. Okay, so now that's that one. Now see, this is where I'm just using washi tape 
but this is where on laurels she put oh like on this edge she put a sticker on this one she put a sticker on this one she put some fabric and on this one she's got lace and on the other side she's got ribbon so she did a little more fancier than I'm doing. A little bit more fancy. She's like a little fancy pants. And then here's some green. So actually, if you um, take your time and do this, then you can, can do more fanciness on it. Let me see. Fanciness. And there, see now. And then I have one more. Let me see, what else do we have here? What is this? That's like a big wide train. That's too wide. I don't want to put that on there. Ooh, I want this one. What is this? Red red. It looks Chinese. Put that on that one. And there we go. Now, let's see how that looks. Look at there how that looks with all those edges on there. That's pretty. Okay, then I'm gonna quickly make make my tag now. Okay, I like these hearts. I think that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use these hearts. That's gonna be my that's what's going to be in here for my little pool. But I need to have what I can do to make a pull on here is to, I'll just use washi tape again. Oh, this is the kind that's, that one's not good. Ooh, 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 look at this. See if I can get this off of here. Because what I'm going to do on this one now is I am going to just put this tape. Isn't that pretty? Like a rainbow. And I'm going to turn it like, like this way. And fold it onto itself but I'm making it a little longer see so then I have a tab and these are some squares that I got in the my happy meal so if they're this both sides are the same so I can put this in here and then that tab is right there where I cut that little notch. Now, then, we want to have a, um, okay, now I need to put these back in here. For later use. And put the lid on. I found this container in a dumpster. We were dumpster diving. <laughs> I fall the dumpster. That was a long time ago. Okay, now you can do stamping on here. See, we've already been on 40 minutes, so I don't want to keep you for the rest of your life. You can do stamping. You can do um, like like Laurel did. She has the different pages. She's got stickers, and she's got. I know she put some stamping on. Here's some stamping looks like she did there. 
and stamping here some hearts. So she put like a lot of time in hers. Real, I want to do another one, just, oh, dragonfly. So pretty, all these pretty things. So pretty. And so then, let me see, I'm just going to take, I think somebody's trying to get in my door. Oh, I have this watermelon and it's like a little charm. And I have, let's see, I'm going to take a smiley face and I'll take a white bead. Oh gosh, somebody's knocking on the door because it's locked. I'm coming. Hang on. Okay, I gotta go and lock the door. That's oh, Kaya locked it again. Just a minute. I'm I'm coming. Gotta get my butt out of this area. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, here I come. I'm moving right along. because I'm making a video uh, and so I'll find the key either that or we got to get a different doorknob on it if I don't find the key because if we get locked out if nobody's in here that wouldn't be good okay we got that taken care of now so I'm gonna put this in here and I'll put this white one on here and then I'm going to put this watermelon, watermelon, on the end of this string. Hello. Hi. Hello, beautiful. Okay, so there. Now that is all the world needs. And I wonder if I could just tie these strings together. I think I can do that just fine. And, um... I don't even know why our bedroom has a lock with a key. Oh, I remember now. Because Papa used to have rifles when we had them in here. But he doesn't have rifles anymore. There, so there is my dangle in the middle. So now you get the idea. That's about, this is Lauren's, this one's mine and see how they're similar but not the same. Now you'll be able to make yours however you end up wanting to make yours and you can put on whatever, however. Oh, and I know what's gonna do the, um, you know what, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the um, paper kid and paper clip, but I'm gonna do that on a video on its own, so. So that's the video, that's how I did this. And I'm gonna find out from Lauren, cause I don't even know. There's some people that follow me and I don't even know if they've got a, and then I find out later, later that they, that they um, have a channel of their own. And I think, and I didn't know that, but I had fun with this. I'm gonna make more of these butterflies like this. Did you see this butterfly in there? No. She's beautiful. Okay. Flappy, flappy, flappy. Yeah. Okay, so now you can make that a bow. I could make it a bow with my hair. That's right, I could. Now, um, oh, what was I gonna do now? You okay, I play with petunia. Okay. Um. Oh no, I was going to um, 
read and see what Jesus has to say to us. He called in, I didn't answer the phone, so we left a message. It's right here. And today is May the 5th, so I've got to turn the page. And come to me for all that you need. Come unto my presence with thanksgiving, for thankfulness opens the door to my treasures. When you are thankful, you affirm the central to truth that I am good, I am light, in whom there is no darkness at all. The assurance that I am entirely good meets your basic need for security. Your life is not subject to the whims of sin-stained deity. Relax in the knowledge that one who controls your life is totally trustworthy. Come to me with confident expectation. There is nothing you need that I cannot provide. And that's God's message to us today. And that's a good message. I'm going to leave it at that right there. I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. Keep you safe and secure. Keep you happy, healthy, and humble. And don't step in the mud puddle. Oh, yeah, go ahead and step in the mud puddle. Okie dokie. Oh, and just so you know, mud is kind of better than dog poop, so don't step in dog poop. There you go. Advice from the eight-year-old. Yeah. Very good advice. And I'm looking for my, as always, I'm always looking for my mouse, and there it is. It's not too hidden. God bless.